A geodatabase is a database designed to store, query, and manipulate geographic information and spatial data. It is also known as a spatial database. Within a spatial database, spatial data is treated as any other data type. Vector data can be stored as point, line or polygon data types, and may have an associated spatial reference system. So let's see how we can create a geodatabase in Art Catalog. Creating classified data in the geo database and import it to ArcMap. To get started, we go to a specific path to create and save the geo database in that path. Then we right click on the folder and select File Geo Database. Here we should assign a name for our geo database. Creating a geo database with many layers makes the search process more difficult and the geo database will be messy. To categorize layers, the geo database allows you to create different datasets, which means multiple layers can be placed in a single set. For example, there are several types of roads that can be placed in a dataset as a category. Categorizing layers is different based on the needs of companies or centers that need a geo database. So, we need to generate feature dataset after creating geo database. So we assign a name for our feature dataset. and specify the desired coordinate system. Using the commands, you can choose the coordinate system of the region where the layers are located. In the next step, tolerance is determined, which we set as default.
The feature dataset for roads was created here. We also create a feature dataset for rivers based on the previous steps. As we went through in previous step a name should be assigned for the feature dataset. And the desired coordinate system should be specified. Based on the number and type of the layers, different types of feature dataset can be created. In this tutorial, we use these layers because of its educational aspect and better understanding. After creating three feature dataset, it's time to create feature classes. All our layers are as a feature class, each of which should be imported separately into our feature dataset. We specify the name of the feature class. And we also specify the type of feature class. Using the desired layer, we import all the fields into the feature class. Feature class was created. There is no information for the feature class, so we need to load our desired layer on the feature class. Here we select the load data. Using the input data, we select our desired shapefile. and select the Add option. Then click on Next. Now our shape file is displayed and we can see the river. All the layer information is available in this section. Again, we select the second shape file from the first feature dataset. For the second feature dataset, we import all the shape files separately.
Here we've imported several layers of shape files into feature datasets. Based on your needs, you can have different feature dataset and feature class. To display an ArcGIS software, we go to the GeoDatabase path. Here, the layers in the GeoDatabase can be seen.